It's important to really set up the time during that period because the Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights released the revised sexual harassment guidance for campuses in 2001. So, for example, it emphasized that campuses had to take prompt and effective action to end harassment and prevent its recurrence. And that guidance also dictated that campuses had to implement sexual harassment prevention education. So right there, we start looking at Kathy's case and it really starts to fall apart because the moment that her case comes forward, it's virtually ignored. 